so what is up you guys um right now i just decided to record um a really personal video right now i'm getting ready to show you guys um uh, what i'm actually working on today i really was inspired actually um by this girl called uh ash she used to date spiritual soul on um youtube and she really inspired me to work on a 2020 vision board. So me and my daughter, say hey, Lily. Hey. Me and my daughter are sitting here. And you know, I've been sitting in the bed all day, which is like very depressing. Um, But I, I just needed to relax. You know how you have those days where you just need to relax. I just needed to relax. I was very tired. Um. And it's just been a long day, you guys. So, let me see. I got a new case. And I don't think this is going to fit up here. Oh, and it does perfectly. Okay. So, yes, this is my vision board that I am working on on my bed. As you can see. As you can see, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm unity. We definitely got to work on our future for this year. Next year, it is going to be 2020. 2020 is definitely a, a, a numeric number, which is, it symbolizes a lot. And if you want to manifest a lot, you need to get started now. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm going through this book. Um, this is an in-style book. I have had it ever since. I don't know how long. I don't even know. This is April 2018. So I had this book for like years. But um, I'm just using the book. And anything that I feel like resonates with me. And what I want and what I wrote down at the top of my vision board, I'm going to paste it. I always like to do magazines first before I go printing out um, off the internet because I just feel like magazines hold more power. Pictures hold a lot of power. A lot of these pictures that you guys see, pictures hold a lot of power. Pictures hold a lot of power, okay? And words do too. So I'm cutting out words and pictures that hold a lot of power. Um, and yeah, I made a vision board before. You guys see my other video of my other vision board that I did. Um, I actually really liked it. And some of the stuff up there I did get. So... It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come to you guys and show you guys what I was doing. Um, now, what I wrote... I just see. Shh, what I wrote on my vision board was... Um, let me see. Hold on, because I'm getting ready to... I'm, I'm getting ready to show you guys. Uh, this right here. Hold on, these are all my photos that I've already cut out. But um, on my vision board, here, I'll just slide them down here. On my vision board, I wrote up here, and I used the back of the Amazon paper. And on the back of the paper, I wrote uh, the date, which is today, which is 11-30-19 at exactly 8-13 is when I got finished writing this paragraph. Now, in this paragraph, it says, I am so, I am so grateful that by the 1st of August 2020, because that's the date that I set for myself, I will have a um, one million dollars, which will come to me in various amounts from time to time during an iteration. Okay, in return for this money, I will help people and change lives. My channels will grow. My life will be more peaceful. I will attract love and true happiness. My kids will be blessed. 2020 is my year. 
The money is mine. I already feel it in my hands. My faith is strong. I, I will be famous and everyone will love me. Now that's just a shortness of what I just summarized up. I'm not finished. I have a lot more to write. Plus I have pictures to add to it. A lot more affirmations that I want to add. Um, and I think everyone should really work on this. Um, every year you should be trying to work on a goal that you want or something that you want to do um, because it's very important um, for you guys to do this because it's a part of manifestation. If you practice manifestation, it will come to surpass. So, we all have to practice what you preach. So, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing good. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything down and I'm not missing nothing. Okay, let me just stop this video right here. So, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to make a pause. Um, but you guys... I hope everyone is doing so, so well. I hope you guys work on your vision boards this time and actually make one and make sure that you have it in a place. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. You guys need to make sure you have your vision boards in some place where you can actually see the vision board. Do not set your vision board somewhere where you cannot see it. Okay? You need to make sure it's in, in vision of you to see it every day. My first vision board that I made in 2019, boom, is on the side of my bed. Why? Because I have to get up every morning and look down at it. Okay? It's right there. Like literally right behind my camera. And I keep that behind my I keep that beside my bed because that manifests its energy when you look into it. Uh so, yeah, make sure you place it in a good spot where you can see it every day and it inspires you. Make sure you read it in the morning and read it at night. You guys also need to check out this book called um, Darn, I was listening to it on my Audible. I have to link it below. But it was like Think and Grow like a millionaire for 21st century or something like that you guys need to make sure you check that out check that out it is a great book i'll link it below it is an excellent book a great book something you definitely want to you know read if if you're trying to manifest you know if you're trying to manifest money you're trying to work on your savings get your financial advisor Start talking to them about your accounts. Start really changing your, the, your way you're spending. Only buy stuff you need, not stuff you want. And really just turn yourself around. I have to work on that because Amazon got me hooked. I'm not going to lie. I, I just... Something about that damn Amazon. That Amazon just got me hooked. That two-day shipping. Just knowing that you can get something in two days. You know what I'm saying? That's what moves me. Like, oh, if I need anything, all I got to do is what? Two days. Oh, okay. <coughs> you guys, like, I am so inspired. I'm just so happy. Oh, I found a perfect picture, you guys. Remember how I said in my thing that I was going to be famous? Now, look at this. This is perfect, perfect to add to this page. I'll show you once I get finished cutting it out correctly. Because this is exactly what I need right here. Exactly. Lights, camera, action, bitch. It's on me. It's on me. You know what I'm saying? It's on uh, me. You have to learn how to use these pictures and these words, honey. Words and pictures. Words and pictures. That's all I can say. Words and pictures. This helped work for me last year. And I don't know where I'm going to put this one. I'm probably going to hang this one 
I got something else going on over there. Probably on this wall. Use some tape and tape it up. <clears throat> it just all depends because, you know, when you have company, sometimes you don't want them to necessarily see everything you got going on. And then, like, I'm very big on, like, people tend to, um, like, not believe you or, or pray on your downfall. I had a lot of people, man, recently. I caught them hating on me. I caught them making slick comments. I caught them saying bullshit to me. I caught them, you know, just being typical people. But little do you know, <laughs> wait till you see me next year. These same people that I heard talking shit about me, these same people who want to play buddy, buddy and friend with you, they're not your friends, especially if God allows you to hear some of the shit that they say, you know? Hey, with Bray, Lord. I'm telling you, you got to be careful, boy. People, people do not like it when you're doing better than them, when you have better than them, and when you are ahead of them. I definitely learned that about my job. People hate that shit. They, they, they ain't going to tell you they hate it, but trust me. They are not pleased. They are not pleased. And it's like, hey, I can't help it. I'm blessed. But a lot of people who are stressed aren't blessed. And that's why, because you have to watch your words. You have to watch what the hell you say and watch how the hell you carry yourself. Just like um, with me doing this fasted meditation yoga for next tomorrow in December, the first on Sunday. I challenge myself to do what? Yoga and meditation every day. 10 minutes. We're going to start off slow. Yoga and meditation. Like, seriously, that is hard. And I'm telling you because I'm speaking off experience. It is tough. But I'm going to challenge myself because even though I'm... I'm not out of shape and I'm not overweight. I'm still not in shape. And I want to be in better shape because I, I, I need to start focusing on, I'm 25 years old. I tell people all the time, I'm getting old. You know what I'm saying? Shh. I tell people all the time, I'm getting old. I'm 25 years old. I really, I really am realizing that like, your time is running out, you know? You can't play around. A lot of people are like, but you're only 25, you're only 25. Exactly, I'm only 25 and I'm running out of time, honey. Y'all take years lightly and that's why you're sitting up here 50 something, 60 something, wishing you would have done that, wishing you would have been there, wishing you would have done that and been here and there. Then you get mad because of this and that and the third. It's like, you can't blame nobody but your damn self. Turn your head. Go wipe your face. Go get a wipe and wipe your face. I'm like, these people really are just, woo. That's why I don't like being around people. I'd rather be by myself. I, I don't mind people. Don't get me wrong. And some people are cool. Some people are my homies. And they know who they are already, off the grill. But most of y'all, y'all are some draining ass spirits. Y'all are some draining ass spirits. And y'all are so negative and so poor. And then where the hell I live at, it, it's just not good. It's not good, especially if you, you want to go somewhere in life. Well, this ain't, this ain't the place. This is retirement city. Retirement city. And that's why I'm going to get away. And I know I'm going to, ooh, I'm either going to hit the lottery next year or something magnificent is going to come out the woodworks. And I'm just going to be like, bitch, I told you, watch. <laughs> that's like what I'm going to do. I'm like, bitch, I told you. Like.
exactly what I'm gonna say. The bitch, I told you. Right. I, I tried to tell you, y'all hated on me. Y'all talked so much shit about me. Y'all, y'all commented. Y'all want to be rude. Y'all want to criticize and laugh. Those be the main ones. And I've been jotting and taking fucking notes. The main ones that sit back up there and take you as a weak ass person. Then when some shit really fucking happened to you, they be the main ones knocking on your motherfucking door. And I'm gonna go closing it, bitch. Closing it. Can't get in over here, honey. Where was you at? Where was your ass at before? Oh, in the corner talking shit. Oh, thinking I can't do this and that. Mm. Now look at me. I don't like to be that way, but at the same token, it's going to feel real good. Real, real damn good. To stick it to the man. Oh, I like these words, and I like the pit. I ain't, ooh, no. Mm. I was about to cut this picture out of this this lady pregnant because it looked cool, but I don't want to manifest no other child. That's not in the works for me. Then some people, ooh, you got to watch what you say. People will, ooh, I had an incident at work. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to say too much, but you got to watch what you say. People got to watch their fucking words, man. That shit is real. You can speak shit into existence. Like, literally. Speak shit into existence that you ain't even want to speak into existence. Just off of what you saying. Watch what the hell you say. And watch the company you keep and the people who are around you. Because if they ain't talking about shit, and they're actually, you know what I'm saying, Negative all the time, talking bad, unhealthy, in a bad mood. Mm, it ain't gonna do you no good. You gonna be stuck in that same hole you was in three, four years ago. I'm telling you, Lily, don't start. Oh God. It just feels so good to be doing something productive. I love doing productive stuff. And I do productive stuff all the time. I just don't record. I be in here thinking of all kinds of great-ass ideas and don't record. But now, Marzi's going to start getting on that shit. Mm, 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 mm. Wild at heart. I don't think I can do that. Oh, donuts. My manifest being fat if I put that up there. Yes, I need to put this word up here. My style. My style. My way. My choice. Me, me, me. My style. So um, I'll come back to you guys or I'll do a screenshot. Probably a thumbnail of exactly what it looks like when I get finished. I just really want to focus on exactly what I need. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for for even taking the time out to spend this time with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on everything at Kitty Cans. Thank you so much. Mwah. Bye.